Today we're taking a food tour through Flushing, Queens, Chinatown, the best place in New York City for cheap eats. We'll be checking out five can't-miss stops with two Chinese-American YouTubers who know their way around. This is the end of the Seven Line in Queens, but it's the beginning of an amazing food adventure if you want to come this far. Yeah, a lot of people wouldn't come to Flushing, but if you're from Brooklyn, it takes like an hour, an hour and a half to get here sometimes. So Flushing is the biggest Chinatown of New York City, and everything we're gonna have today is five dollars or less. So let's show you where you're missing out. Literally, what you want is right on the window. All right, Ben Ming, we've got a Peking duck bun before. Now, for everybody out there who's never tried this, including myself, what exactly is in here? Inside, we have a crispy piece of duck and green onion or scallions. And the sauce, it's either sweet bean sauce or hoisin sauce, depending on the location. Duck is a local delicacy in Beijing, China. And each duck, you can actually cut. Guess how many pieces in a whole duck? 50. <laughs> what do you think? 20. More, a lot more. Oh, it's wow. a duck. 120 <laughs> pieces. Oh, okay. Usually pretty crispy, and it's mostly just duck skin. Very little meat. All right, let's, let's try this. Yes. My first time trying Peking duck bun. Let's do it. So the first thing that jumps out to me is how sweet the bun is and how sweet the sauce is. And then you've got the crispy duck. It's a really interesting mix that I'm obviously a pretty big fan of. I think I could do this in one or two bites. Yep. Like, mm -hmm. No problem. The Peking duck itself is tradition to cut it in front of guests in slices. This goes for a lot in Beijing, China. So this is really popular in Beijing. Yep. Yes, yes. That's what tourists go for, for Peking duck. I kid you not, Main Street Flushing is busier than Times Square right now. <laughs> it is. I mean, this is great. I am happy to see the neighborhood recovering and bouncing back so much. Yeah. Nothing like a little rain for a street food tour, but this weather is not going to stop us from eating New York's best cheap eats. This place is usually really busy, so we're the only ones Perfect. here. Perfect. For Hong Kong style? That's it. How much was it? Eight dollars. <laughs> Too many TikTokers have been here. <laughs> in true New York fashion, we're eating right in front of the seven train. We're thinking of just handing one of these uh, egg tarts to somebody walking up the stairs if they get lucky. Should we do it? What do you think? Oh, okay. here. here. All right, we've got Hong Kong egg custards here, two dollars each. Now, in another video in Brooklyn Chinatown, we ate Portuguese egg custard. What makes Hong Kong version different? The, the Portuguese one, they caramelize the top of the egg tarts, so it becomes very crispy and it has a black tint to it. This is just pure cream. The Hong Kong version is more of a breakfast item and the Portuguese one is more of a dessert. Let's do it. Let's take a bite. Here we go. You can't look elegant eating this. Oh, yeah. I remember how messy this was. Let's do it. <laughs> wow. Better than I remember. So good. Really crumbly and as they were telling me, kind of like silky. See the egg? It's not even running out that much. This is a lot neater than I expected. A lot more of a neat experience than the time I had the Portuguese egg tart. This is really, really good. So sometimes in the other bakeries, these run for like a dollar, a dollar and 25 cents. Yeah. Here, they go for like another whole dollar because they make it so good. I'll pay two dollars for this every single time. Mm. Well, make sure not to come here too late because they sell out quick. John, now that you've tried the both the Portuguese version and the Hong Kong style egg tart, which one do you like more? I have to say Hong Kong style only because it's a lot easier to eat on the street. The Portuguese one is so crumbly. Like if you don't take that home to your wife, it's just <laughs> difficult to walk and eat that. But this was amazing. So right now I'm going to lean on Hong Kong if we're doing a street food tour. And that is the traditional one. So good choice. Awesome, awesome choice. <laughs> there are few neighborhoods in this city with so much variety of amazing cheap food. We just keep harping on that. Like the insane amount of food that you can get in, I don't know, 10, 20 blocks here. Yep. The temptation yep. is real everywhere you go. <laughs> <laughs> loving it, loving this tour. I love flushing so much. It's right here. This is, it's like literally, guys, it's three storefronts down. This yep. this tour is so compact, I could I could crawl the whole way. How do you pronounce this? It's uh, Fu Yuan. Wow. Oh, so cute. That was quick. So cute. That is really cute, actually. You're right. <laughs> As we said, this is the, the prettiest thing on the video. It, it almost looks like a dessert, even though it's not, doesn't it? Nope, it's this very is fish. Savory. This is fish, not dessert. <laughs> this is actually a popular Hong Kong street food. Okay. They put it in skewers. Oh yeah, so we have curry sauce, sesame, sriracha. Sesame seeds, sesame mm -hmm. oil. It's gonna be uh, chewy. There's gonna be a lot of flavors coming up, you're yeah. saying? Yep. All right, let's take a bite. Let's do it. Mm. As someone who's not in love with fish, I like this a lot. Really spicy kick at the end too, but super chewy. It just gets better and better every time mm -hmm. you eat it. This actually surprised me because when they said 
fish balls. I was thinking, eh, I'm not gonna like this so much. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, this might be my sleeper pick of the day. Ooh. Oh. So far, this is my favorite. Ooh. <laughs> All right, amazing Ben. He was so curious, we have to let him try this. Curry fish balls, here we go. It's actually really good. No, it's like, it's really good. I'm like, I'm thinking like, were they overplaying it? But are you, are you accusing us of overplaying things? Come on. This is their favorite? I was like, there's no way after that duck that was, this is your favorite. I, I, I really don't know why John's asking for water. It's, it's not that spicy. John's got a lot of work to do, huh? <laughs> It's funny, the bubble tea that we're getting is more expensive than any food on this video. This <laughs> goes to show. Shake it before you poke it. Okay. That just sounds wrong. <laughs> wait, you're doing oh, it wrong. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to include this in the video. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. This is so good. We said cheap eats, we didn't say anything about cheap drinks. So. Mm -hmm. True. I want to talk to you guys about flushing in particular and what makes this Chinatown different than let's say the Manhattan Chinatown that most tourists would end up at. Hmm. I think the Manhattan Chinatown is definitely the OG. And over the year, flushing really took on a life of its own. For me, it's the people, the culture, the food, everything. You think it's more authentic here? I think so. And it's a new wave of Asian Americans that come here. It's like an updated version of Chinatown in my opinion. My family lives here. We, they've been living here for 20, 30, 40 years. So it's always going to be having a special place in my heart. How are you? Can I have four small beef rice rolls? And you can always tell it's going to be good. You walk into a little market like this, mm -hmm. my expectations are through the roof right now. <laughs> That's another thing. You always have to pay cash. That's oh yeah, good. all these places. Good cash tip. Only. Cash only. Okay. Oh, yes. thank you. Ooh. It is out. It's really hot. We'll start with that. Oh man. And we, we saw them make it right in front of us. We're coordinating a group soy sauce pour. What life decisions led me to this moment? You ready? <laughs> ready. Let's do it. Ready. I like a lot of soy sauce on mine. Okay, I'm all bye. Into <laughs> Mine is swimming in soy sauce. Same. All right, beef, steam, rice roll. All this pomp and circumstance. Here we go. Bean sprouts are so good. Mm -hmm. So today we just got beef and eggs. And, and some other good. vegetables. Oh yeah. And the uh, bean sprouts is a must. I really have to thank them because they came up with this entire tour in like 24 hours and taking me to four new places that I'd never been to before that would easily go to the top of my list of a, of a flushing food tour. We've actually done another flushing video and we ate some great spots there too. But this is impressive, I have to say, especially for the cost. You really can eat well and eat cheap and flushing. You know, if you're a, a foodie and you've never been to flushing before and visiting New York City, like what are you waiting for? <laughs> The barbecue cart is missing. You said it moves around. It moves around. Usually it's right here. You see the imprint right there. I see the imprint. <laughs> so where could it be? Where could it be? I mean, there's another location we could go to 41st Ave. We found it. We found it. Down oh the block. God. Down the block. All right, we're almost well, there. I smell some. I smell it. I can't even see the place. I just see the smoke ahead and I smell <laughs> barbecue already. I feel like your typical American probably would not equate Chinese food with barbecue, but they would be way off, right? You're right, you're right. And this is a whole different type of Chinese food. This is actually originated from Uyghur, which is a Muslim part of China that many people don't know about. And there's a lot of lamb. The Muslims are the only pork. The lamb is the go-to thing, so we have to get the lamb skewers. It's right. simple food, but it's barbecue done right. So we've decided we're, we're gonna eat our lamb skewers at the top of a parking lot overlooking Flushing. The perfect ending to an amazing afternoon. The smell is so yep. strong and so good. Lamb and goats uh, are abundant in, in the Uyghur part of China. And what we have right now, it's marinated in salt, pepper, cumin, garlic, Sichuan pepper, a lot of things. So let's, let's see what the Chinese barbecue experience is all about. Medium, medium spice. Medium spice, they're, they're not sure if I can handle this. <laughs> ben just shook his head from behind the camera. I think I'll be okay. <laughs> Ben's like, no. <laughs> ben knows me well. Okay, let's just try it, let's, no. do, let's do it. Mm. Okay, not too spicy. No, it's okay. It's really good, really tender. Ooh, just a lot oh. of flavor. They really season this well. Yep. They do. It's a known street food in China. People just eat this late night. For a dollar fifty, I mean, how how can you go wrong with this? I'm looking forward to it. it. Smells really good. John, why did we only get one? If you enjoyed the video today, 
please check us out and connect with us on the Bing Buzz at YouTube, on Instagram. John will link the links down below or above. I needed this water. Guys, I really want to thank Ben Ming for an incredible tour. We've never had a bad experience in Queens, especially in Flushing. Guys, get your butts down here. All the places in the description. Thank you so much for watching as always. Till next time.